Well, I got my name gender marker changed over two years ago when I was under 18. I was 17 at the time and it's a bit different than having your name and gender change as an adult. So this is kind of what I did. Um, one thing, I was in, I'm born and raised in California, so it's different state per state, state so, so you may want to um, look into that. Each state, because each state has different laws and everything, protecting and granting things. So um, first thing I did was go on to transgender legal, a uh, trans legal site, site which was able to help me, me um, be able to name and stuff that I wanted, that we needed. They emailed to, well, email some information about what you fill out and what you don't need to fill out, but which was very helpful. I will also put the link below, below to that. That's so, basically you filled it everything out, out for my name. I don't think I needed to do that much. Most of my parents just filled everything out because I was under 18. They had to sign everything. I think I did not have to go for a um, fingerprint test, FBI background check. I might have gone, gone without knowing. I don't know. No, but I was under 18. I wasn't needing to do it for any legal reasons, other reasons for like being in trouble or something. It was just I'm trans. Also in California. You do not need to put your name in the newspaper. Paper to um, be like, I'm changing my name. It is actually covered and you will not have to out yourself self at all for that. So props, props. So I didn't have to go to actual physical court, court and plead my case or whatever, and just wait for a judge. Judge, um, we put, once we filled out the paperwork, we put it in, in, in a few months later. But it was like, that's your court date. Yeah, we were given our court date, and then a few months later, I got it back. Back, and um, it was 400 bucks for um, each time you submit, submit for a name or gender. So if you put it in twice, you have to pay the same amount each time. Time, whereas if you got both of them at once, you just pay 400 flat. But, and then also you get um, certified copies, which I think costed 20 or 25 bucks each. So it's not cheap, and you need to have some certified copies as backups or whatever. So there's that also involved. Well, so for gender marker, it was a little bit different. Different, I needed someone who would be going, um, yes, he is trans. Trans, and it was like a doctor declaration saying that I'm trans and they agree that I am male instead of female. And also you had to have that letter, letter from a doctor to be able to do that part then also because I was under 18 I had to write a letter to the judge judge saying yes I know what I'm doing basically and I want this change for me me and I also forgot um for a name you also have to be like making sure that it's not for your parents wanting to change your name for whatever reason yeah. which may be as long as you like write down what why you're changing your name, name it like it's an actual thing. I think I got that approved, approved, and a few months later, later I got the actual thing. I think the day I had it was the um, printer was down for the certified copy, for the copy, so mm, that was awkward. Weird, because I would have had to, also I didn't have to go to the, go to the actual court again, again for that one, which good, because it was middle, it was during finals. <laughs> So it was in the second day of my finals, so I was like, I really can't afford to, even though I told the per um, my teacher the day, the day that I'm like, before, way before, I'm like, I'm, I have a court date that day. <laughs> yeah, I might miss it. And I was making sure that they knew, knew because I actually had a class and my other class was teacher assistant, so I didn't have to do anything that day, pretty much. Much, it was just watch TV of what we were doing so I was kind of anxious so I ended up um, not having to miss that day day we I was completely fine if not because we took the finals the day before before um for um our, our last full day of school school so I was fine on that one but the main difference with um being is being under 18 is you have to be like proving it more and you're like either way you'd have to have a declaration from your doctor doctor but you wouldn't have to write a letter from what I'm understanding something is which I had to do so that was about 
it like it was four hundred dollars well I did it twice so it was eight hundred dollars plus ended up being about a thousand dollars for me for me and my family to um change everything including certified copies and everything that we needed um then you can change your social security security card your and everything else which social security can be a pain waiting in line but but that's that part so um every state is different some states do not allow your gender marker change until you have top surgery i was lucky being in california i didn't have to have anything done done i literally got my um letter from my doctor the first day I met him, my doctor, hey. which is also the day before I had my name changed. Just one day, literally just one day off of having my name changed. Yes, I am still bitter about that over two years later. But um, that part was easy. I mean, like as long as you have like a trans-friendly doctor or someone who a doctor who has worked with trans people before, you should be good. Good. Also, this is, I believe, throughout all the states of the um, United States, so, but I'm not 100% sure, do not quote me, but um, if you get a letter from a doctor, doctor saying, I need to change my gender marker on my ID or my license, you can do that. Do that, though, it will not be legally changed, it'll just be changed on your actual, actual, just your ID, which is pretty cool and will be very helpful for some people. Whereas for me, it was useless because I'm like, my name's changed, my gender marker's changed. I got in with just my ID. My, I'm um, not, I didn't have an ID at that point, sorry. Misspoke. But I just got in there with my new birth certificate, which was $35. Don't quote me again. Very California. Yes, yeah, so, um, I got all that changed, did my picture, all that jazz. jazz. So it's a lot easier when you have all your legal paperwork done, but if you just got your name change or your John Marker change and you don't have a birth certificate, you've got to bring both of them, them in and for your actual um, change for your ID or your drive, your ID or driver's license. So that's the basics of how you do it in California, your name and John Marker. Like I said, you can do them both together or you can do them separate like me. I was lucky enough to have them both done before I graduated from high school, which was awesome. Awesome though, literally, as I said, my gender marker was changed. <laughs> Finals. Oh, sorry. Finals right before I was graduating. So I did legally um, walk as a male, and which was awesome for me. Some don't eat that, some do. I personally did. It was just an extra boost to valid, boost to valid, valid, <laughs> validation. <laughs> That's the word. Yeah, so extra boost of validation that I am actually myself, even though all my teachers were respectful. Well, well, and called my name. I mean, some had issues with my gender, gender being um, using um, he pronouns instead of she, just because hmm, I was more concerned about my name than anything. So, so that's how I got my um, name and gender marker changed in California. Like I said, every state is different, so you'll have to look up your laws in your area. Um, I recommend checking out Transgender Law Center. I believe that is the name of it. Like I said, link below. Below, and I will. Um, hopefully, that will help you guys out for anyone who's trying to um, get their name changed.